In this lesson, we're going to solve quadratic equations in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And it is important that the equation always equals zero. We're going to use the quadratic formula to do this and check out the link in the description to see how we can derive the formula by completing the square of the general equation. So we begin with question A, where A is equal to one, B is equal to seven, and C is equal to four. Put these values into the formula. We have minus seven plus or minus the square root of seven squared minus four times one times four, all over two times A. That is minus seven, and we can use the order of operations here. So that's going to be 49 minus all over two. So that is minus seven plus or minus the square root of 33 over two is equal to X. And for the sake of this lesson, I'm going to leave the solutions in simplified third form. For question B, A is equal to two, B is equal to negative three, and C is equal to negative four. So we have negative, negative three, plus or minus the square root of negative three squared, minus four times A times C, all over two times A. So we can work this out as a negative and a negative three become a positive three, plus or minus the square root of nine minus a negative 32, all over four. And this becomes three plus or minus the square root of 41, because these become an addition over four. For question C, a is equal to three, B is also equal to three, and C is equal to negative two. So we have negative three plus or minus the square root of three squared minus four times A times C, all over two times A. So that'd be negative three plus or minus the square root of 33 over 6. For question D, A is equal to 3, B is equal to 2, and C is equal to negative 7. So we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times A times C, all over two times A. So minus two plus or minus the square root of 88 over six. And we can simplify this third, the square root of 88 as the square root of four multiplied by the square root of 22. The square root of four because four is a square factor of 88. So that's gonna be two root 22. So minus two plus or minus two root 22 over six. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing the numerator and the denominator by two. So that becomes minus one plus or minus the square root of 22 over three. And these are your solutions for x. And for question E, before we can work out the values of a, b, and c, we need to put it in a form of a general equation, which is equal to zero. So we have 5x squared. Now I'm going to move the positive 13x over to the other side by taking it away. So these will cancel, minus 13x. And we're going to move the positive 7 to the other side by adding 7. So these will cancel. And that will now equal 0. So a is equal to 5, b is equal to negative 13, and c is equal to 7. 
So we have a negative b or negative negative 13 plus or minus the square root of negative 13 squared minus 4 times a times c. And that is all over 2 times a, 2 times 5. So that becomes a negative and a negative, make a positive 13 plus or minus the square root of 29 over 10. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out mrmathematics.com for the full lesson and worksheet.